Yo, what's up guys, AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. This video is something different guys, something different than you're probably used to. Uh, I've actually never done this before, it's nothing troll-like, but I got a YouTube comment in one of my older videos. And I have this guy, King Aram, mentioning you should use Pursuit against Blissey on the first game, it would be defeated. And he was talking about this situation. Okay, look at this. So, my Tyranitar is at 2 HP. It's gonna die to poison on the next turn. So I only got one attack with this Tyranitar. This Blissey... Um, let me open this up. This Blissey was at 32.9%. Uh, because the, before he took the Sandstorm damage, he was at 38.9. So it's at 32.9 or 32.8. I think it's actually 32.8 and if you look at the at the pursuit damage if if blissey or if chancy for some reason decides to stay in i'm only doing 21 percent to 24.7 meaning that if he stays in and clicks off will my tyranitar is gonna die chance is gonna be at half hp and i basically gained nothing and yeah this person I don't say it's a wrong play, <laughs> because I, I was really far ahead, guys. Look at the HP here of my Pokemon. It, pretty much everything is full HP. My opponent lost full Corona, Floystar. It stunned many buzz. So regardless of what I'm doing, I'm still winning, because I think that was a choice, choice High Dragon, which could never beat my many buzz. Because so I can just roost, he cannot taunt me. I taunt Skarmory. Uh, Starmie cannot do it, Kiyomi, and obviously I taunt Chansey. So it doesn't really matter. But the thing is, if I pursue it and he clicks soft boil, I will be prolonging the game so much and actually give him a chance. Not very likely, but give him a chance because my Tyranitar dies for free. Then I have to use my Yen Xiao to predict to kill this with close combat or predict the switch with U-turn. And you guys know I don't like having to predict. I like to create situations where I don't have to predict. And in this situation, if I click Pursuit, that means I have to predict. Uh, but if I click Crunch here, what is he switching in? Tarmi is gonna die, Chansey is gonna die, a Dragon is gonna take a shit ton of damage. And if he, if I see leftovers on her Dragon, I can bring him in, shall click U turn. If I don't see leftovers, uh, I can go Blissey. I can go Blissey, use Teleport, and otherwise still bring in Mandibuzz to U turn. So that's not a problem. And I get free chip on Hydreigon too. If you go Skarmory. Skarmory is at... I got one U-turn on him. So he was at 96.5% nine, uh, guys. Uh, meaning that if you look at this Kalk. Let me see. So if you look at me. I'm actually going to open up another Kalk. If we choose Mian Chao versus Skarmory, right? Let's assume he's max HP, max defense. I'm using a life warp me and Xiao in this game. So close combat from film. No. It's not Lichi Bear, it's Life Warp. Close combat from Phil has a 12.9% chance to knock out Skarmory. Well he was at 96.5, let's say he's at 97. We round it up. I can I can say 96 too, but. Close combat. Oh. 96. 97. 96.5. Let's say it's about a 30% chance to do it KO. So I'll leave it up to odds. The odds are not in my favor. Even if I cock 96. It's still. The odds are still in his favor. So Tyranitar dies. I go Mian Shao. He can go Skarmory. Or I, I have to predict and U-turn, but that means Chansey will be at half HP, and after the U-turn, I have to bring in maybe Volcarona to kill him. He can go back into Chansey, heal it up. I would be playing a long game. But look what happens here. So he's at... Um, he's at 32.9, right? He's at 32.9. Um, Tyranitar came in the, the turn before, so Sandstorm will stay here for a while. So look at my play. I go for Crunch.
But Skarmory comes in, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna die here. And he took 19.8, so he's gonna be around um, 80%, some, something, uh, 77. I can bring in Volcarona, but look, the Sandstorm is still up, guys. The Sandstorm is still up. So, remember, Chansey being at 32%. Let's look at the Kalk from Volcarona. So, Fairy Dance does 12.6 to 15.1. Fairy Dance into Bug Buzz. Bug Buzz has 40.3 to 71. So if I, if I combine these two, it's going to be about 27% uh, on average, right? 27, 28. Um, so I'm missing... I would be missing like 4.5% damage. But remember, guys, the Sandstorm is still up. So if Chansey comes in on this... Then I 2-it kill Chansey with the Sandstorm damage. Otherwise, I kill Skarmory. And if he goes Starmie now, he's going to take Fairy damage plus Sandstorm. Meaning that he cannot switch into a Life or Close Combat anymore. So the next time I get in Mian Shao versus Chansey, I will basically get a kill. Because this guy didn't... If this guy switches into Starmie, Skarmory didn't bruise right? And next time Chansey comes in, I go hard Mian Shao. We know it's toxic. I don't care if my Mian Shao gets poisoned. Play Close Combat, I get a kill for free. But yeah, here he decides to stay in. But now I get the kill. Now, now I get the kill. He is obviously gonna go into Chansey to heal it up. But look at the positioning again. We know he's toxic. He's not Thunder Wave because he used Toxic on my Serenitar right. This is exactly how it would go uh, if you go with my play. I go straight into Mianche. I expect him to heal. And now let's see what's coming in on close combat. Because he's going to heal up. He's going to die from here. All he can do is bring in Starmie. I could have even predicted with U-turn. But what I would like to emphasize, guys, is... Um, you want to put yourself into a position in which you don't have to predict. I don't have to predict, because look at how much this close combat is going to do to Starmie. Look at the damage I'm doing. Now Starmie cannot come in on my Mian Shao anymore when, uh, when Blissey comes in. And now I basically win, because I, I can go directly into Mandy Buzz. Like I'm not, we're actually not going to watch the whole game because what happens is I go into many buzz and um, at, at one point I go in, I get me and show in versus Blissey and then he decides to forfeit because he's going to lose a Pokemon. It's going to be Chance, it's going to be Chance, he's going to be Starm, he's going to be Hydrating, he's going to lose one of them. And then many buzz just wins anyways. But that's what I want to emphasize. Look at how much faster I would win this way than if I go for Pursuit. If I go for Pursuit here, and he clicks off Boil, which he can definitely do, because he was going... Look at all the HP of my Pokemon. Basically, everything is full HP. He lost two Pokemon. He was so freaking behind. Look at how weak he is to my Mian Shao. Like, a good opponent would probably consider a soft boiling up here, and hope that I would go for Pursuit. And if I would... If that would happen... Then it would be a long game because that Skarmory is now healthy, Chansey is healthy, with the Renatar dying. And with Click and Crunch, Chansey, still low HP, and we do damage on Skarmory, and I can bring in something that can kill Skarmory. Chansey cannot switch in due to Sandstorm. And this is why I think this comment, like, if you if you're trying to teach me how to play the game, <laughs> you should come with, up with better. Uh, with better arguments than this, because I I don't say it's wrong uh, clicking pursuit, but I don't agree with the play. Um, like I I go for consistency. Whenever you see me play, I don't I don't have to make those crazy decisions, uh, those predictions, because I put myself into positions in which I don't have to predict, and that's why I make my all of my most of my opponents look 
bad as well. Like, I make my opponents look bad because I make it look so easy because I always put myself into positions in which I don't have to predict. Yeah, and then Orange Jesus comes into play, th those kind of things. And I try to explain them here, but I, I don't feel like commenting on this because, like I said, I completely disagree with this play. And he, he strikes me as an average player now. If I see, whenever I see a comment like this, an average player who players who are talking about predicting when you don't have to, those people strike me as average players, and that's nothing against him. But uh, yeah, uh, it it does kind of strike a, strike a nerve if uh, by people like this uh, doing those kind of comments. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't try to be mean, but. Hopefully, you guys learned something from this. Um, my my playstyle always revolves around not having to predict. And team building is a big part in it, of course. But, yeah. So, so the kinds of doubles you see me make. Uh, the kinds of decks you see me choose. In I, Obviously, I make predictions as well. But then I'm always waiting out the... Risk versus reward. And yeah. If I were to click Pursuit in this situation, I would just be prolonging the game if he clicks off Boil. He's obviously a low ranked player I'm playing against. That's why, like I said, crunching, because crunching literally damages anything, honestly. Skyrimary can now not come in on two close combats anymore. If my Dragon comes in and he isn't, and I see leftovers, uh, I can just go into Mian Shao, click U turn. Otherwise, I could blissy and then click teleport. So, yeah, I don't really give a shit, man. <laughs> I really don't give a shit. Because if he taunts my blissy, I can always go hard for Corona and then the same situation again. Because. But yeah, um, I've been rambling on too much about. Uh, too much on this video. Still, though, I hope you enjoyed the video. If it was helpful, make sure to hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below. Give me your opinion on this situation. Like, obviously, whether I click Pursuit or Crunch, I still win this game. Because my Taunt Mandibus would just destroy his team. Like, literally. Plus me and Shao. But, yeah. I just try to win as cleanly as possible. Whenever. And I don't really think this is the way. But, yeah. With that, with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I'll leave a link to this battle, by the way. If you like more context. Uh, in the description. Peace out.